Good day everyone, I am Mr. Beloy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, I have now the free time to create another video because there was a fumigation at the school. So, I need to create another video for you. So, the topic that I will be discussing today is zero and negative exponents. So, what are the effects of zero and negative exponents? How do we simplify these examples here? So, let's start. So, what's the difference between uh, quantity 2x raised to zero and this number 2? 2x raised to 0. So here, if you have quantity, that means the whole 2x is the base of 0. If the exponent is 0, the value of the whole expression becomes 1. So this is now equal to 1. So any expression with exponent 0 is equal to 1. So that's the basic concept. Since in number 2, you have 2x raised to 0. The only expression that have 0 exponent is x. That means 2 here uh, doesn't have exponent 0. The exponent of your 2 here is 1. So therefore, this is 2 times x raised to 0 is equal to 1. So this is 2 times 1. So 2 times 1 is equal to so that is the effect of zero, uh, exponent of zero, and then how do we simplify this number one and number two items? Next is negative exponents. I have here the third example, two over x raised to negative one. So you have the negative exponent at the denominator. So negative exponent means reciprocal. So if it is at the denominator, it will be it will be put at the numerator. If it is at the numerator, you will put put it uh, at the denominator if the exponent is negative or the reciprocal of the numerator and the denominator. So for example, you have 3 over x raised to negative 1. This becomes since 2 here doesn't have negative exponent, it will stay at the numerator then this x raised to negative will be put at the numerator. So this is now x raised to positive 1. Once you change the location of the expression from the denominator going to numerator, it will change its sign, the power of the sign, at uh, the sign of the power rather. So you have here negative 1, it becomes positive 1. So this is equal to 2 x raised to 1 or simply... 2x. What about for number 4 example? So you have 3x raised to negative 2 over 5. So your negative 2 exponent there, the base is just x. 3 is not included. So your x will be put at the denominator and then your 3 fifth will stay. Only the x raised to negative 2 will change its position. So this is now uh, 3 over 5 raised to x squared. Take note, the exponent negative 2 becomes positive when it changes its position from numerator to the denominator. Okay, next. Fifth example, we have 8x squared y raised to 0, z raised to negative 2. So this is a combination of 0 and negative exponent. So what do we do here? So since... Uh, 8x squared doesn't have 0 or negative exponent, so this will just stay here. Do not change anything. So you have 8x squared. And y raised to 0 is equal to 1. So this is times 1 because the operation in between them is multiplication. And then your z raised to negative 2, since this is at the numerator, this is all over 1. So, z raised to negative 2 is at the numerator. So, put it at the denominator. You have z raised to, it becomes positive 2. So, your final 
and a uh, simplified form for this without zero and negative exponent is 8x squared over z squared. So 8x squared times 1 is 8x squared and then copy over z squared. So you cannot simplify anymore. Uh, so we just eliminate the zero and negative exponent. So let's go to the sixth item. So this is now your final answer for number five. Let's go for the sixth item. You have negative negative six m raised to negative two and p raised to negative four all over two m n raised to negative one. So how do we eliminate the negative exponents? So you have negative six. Uh, focus on the numerical coefficient, simplify it. So you have negative 3 divided by 2. So this is a negative 6 divided by 2 rather. So this is negative 3 because they have different signs. Now, copy n. Why only n? Because m raised to negative 2 and p raised to negative 4 has negative, have ra rather negative exponent. So put it at the denominator. So this becomes m squared p to the 4th. Uh, what about at the denominator? So we're done with at the numerator. We will now proceed to the denominator. You have him... Uh, here, m, which is positive. So, just put times m at the denominator. Do not change its position. And your n here is negative. So, it will change position from denominator going to numerator. So, this is now n raised to a uh, positive 1. Because it is negative 1, it will change its sign. So now, the final answer for this is, if we're going to uh, multiply them, this is now negative 3n squared because you have n times n. And then here, common base is m. So you have m squared times m. You have exponent 1 here. So this is m cubed. You have 2 plus 1. Then copy p to the fourth. So this is now your final uh, answer in eliminating the negative exponent to simplify the expression. Okay. If you cannot understand it clearly, just repeat the video. Then if you have questions, you can ask me uh, directly in TIPA S Integrated School, our school of course.